This week in GTA Online is all about earning extra income on your nightclub property. You will receive triple the money from your wall safe that generates three times as much as you normally would every 48 minutes. You will also receive two times the popularity increase and double the increase in nightclub goods sell missions. It's the perfect opportunity to make millions this week and invest in growing your criminal empire. I currently have $204,000 in my wall safe, so I'm going to grab that and then start selling my warehouse goods. I currently have $2.9 million in my nightclub warehouse, so I'm hoping to clear a little over $4 million if I sell in a public lobby. I really wanted to wait until my nightclub goods were at its maximum capacity, but I wanted to release this video as soon as possible since the new update just recently got released. So let's get this going, and make sure to like and subscribe for more GTA content. Okay. Shut up Tony, I don't need to hear it. I'm on a tight schedule with a possibly toxic lobby. I need to be careful and cautious though. There are three players nulling around right outside of my nightclub. And once my goods are visible to the entire lobby, they could hunt me down immediately. So I need to be quick. This is an easy hack, so I can't afford to make any mistakes. Now I'm good to go, but the global signal just got released and I'm visible to every player in the session. But the problem with this vehicle, the Phantom, is that it gets stuck very easily. And if you get stuck while carrying all those goods, you will lose the mission and all the profits in your warehouse. Since I am a CEO, the best thing to do is pay the $12,000 for Ghost Organization. This will prevent any other players detecting you and hunting you down. Like I said before, the Phantom gets stuck very easily and I once got stuck on a curb on the side of the road and I immediately failed the mission because the truck literally broke down and stopped working. So the best thing to do during these nightclub cell missions is to be cautious and don't drive like a maniac. If you drive like a crazy person, you'll crash and get stuck somewhere and lose all your product. So just be careful and make it a smooth ride. As I'm saying that, I'm literally driving on the opposite side of the road like a crazy person. But I'd like to challenge anyone doing this mission to try and obey all traffic laws and see if they can complete it. I bet it's almost impossible, especially in a public lobby. I'm going to speed up this process so you can see what the next steps in this cell mission are. Now that I've delivered my first package, I need to open up the Sightseer app and manipulate another hack. This hack is a little harder than the last one, but I'm relieved that I didn't make any mistakes or waste any time. I have my next location, and I still have a little under one minute remaining in my ghost organization. My ghost organization has expired, but I am pretty far away from any other players. So I think I should be safe from possible toxic players who might try to kill me. There is a 7 minute cooldown before I can use my ghost organization again, so if I am in an emergency situation, I will call Lester and he will get me off the radar for 1 minute. This part of the mission is very annoying and dangerous. Especially with the phantom truck. These sharp turns and dirt roads are made to trap you into getting your vehicle stuck. So make sure to take it slow and don't rush. If you do, your truck could either flip over or get stuck on something ridiculous, and you will lose all your product. This is the last hack of this mission. Once you complete it, you should have plenty of time to deliver your product to its final destination. I have 12 minutes to travel 3 miles, so I have plenty of time to complete this cell mission. There are a few players that are in my general area, so I'm going to play it safe and call Lester so he can get me off of the radar for 1 minute. 1 minute should give me plenty of time to escape their close proximity.
piece of cake. And no one bothered me in this lobby. I guess not all GTA lobbies are toxic nowadays. My final payout was $4.2 million. I think it's safe to say that I'm going to be grinding all week long on nightclub cell missions. What a fantastic update. I hope you liked this video, and make sure to like and subscribe for more GTA content. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.